So, here's another Crash Whoa. Bandicoot 4 by time video. But if I die, I have to switch characters. Let's get this started. Oh my god, is that radical? Alright, you're playing as Crash Bandicoot himself in the stage All Balance. One of the best stages in the game, actually. I love the 4 4 so much. Definitely the best world in the entire game, in my opinion. I think I'm going to order two, actually, on uh, characters wise. So, you know, Crash, Coco. I mean, they're basically the same characters, so, you know, no difference there, you know, so. Crash, Coco, Hana, Dingo, Dial, and then Cortex. And every character is fun except for Cortex, which, I mean, Cortex is okay, but, I mean, he's the weakest character to play as in the entire game, in my opinion. But it's not bad at all, actually, you know. Not bad at all. It's pretty good, but flawed at the same time, but, you know. It's nice there's, like, multiple playable characters in this game, actually, too, coming. Like, it's, like, they haven't had a platformer with, like, playable characters in, you know, or in the main character in a while now. I mean, yeah, you know, you play as, like, the main character mainly, but, I mean, it gets tiring at the point. So, it's nice would have, you know, other characters playable and, like, each have their, you know, own unique moveset and all this stuff, too. Like, nice change of pace in the game, actually, too. And it adds some more variety, too. Like, this game is loaded with variety, you know, with level design being very, uh, open, but still keeping the Crash Bandicoot style. And, you know, the inverted stages and all that stuff, too. Like, it's just very... It's a very creative game, to be honest with you. Like, I just love this game so much. It's basically Sonic Adventure with Crash Bandicoot, but, I mean... Except, this game is miles better than SA1. Not SA2, though. SA2 is the GOAT. Don't uh, judge me on that, but, you know, SA2 is the GOAT. Love this game so much. It's the, definitely the best Crash game of all time. Second only to Crash 2. So yeah, I love this game a lot. I play this game very uh, oftenly too, you know. I like to play like, you know, this is a game I like, like to play. Be in a good mood, it's this one. Anyway, oh shoot. Lost my Akaka Mass. I mean, you're in the stage actually too, so not bad at all. Uh, so, here we go. And I don't do completion at all because, I mean, that's very uh, time consuming. Plus, it's, like, there's just too much for me to handle with completion. I mean, I completed the original trilogy, but that's just like it. Like, I don't really see myself, you know, doing the, uh, this game. I mean, maybe one day in the future I might do it, but personally, for now, I'm not doing it because I am, uh, the requirements is just insane, which I'm not gonna go upon, and, oh, sweet. You can go near death right there. Biggest clutch save ever. Alrighty. Okay. Go. Near the end of stage two, so we it's not fumble the ball here, so uh ready. Okay. Oh no, 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 oh shoot. And the going right there, but it's okay. And we're playing as Coco in the stage, no way. Uh, one of the best stages in the game, I can There's a lot of good stages, personally. And even though the later half is very challenging, you know, after this world, like, there are some good stages for Pro, which is nice. So, yeah, and, you know, I play Coco off. I mean, Coco is basically the same as uh, Crash playable, you know, like, character wise. So, like, nothing really different here. But, you know, I do play Coco off to make too, just as much as Crash in these stages. For another change of pace. And also, like, her costumes are also pretty good, too. Like, the one I have right now, I mean, well, you can't see right now, because that'd be, uh, Quantum Mass, which is also a nice gimmick in the game, too. Yeah, it's technically a gimmick, which is pretty good. But yeah, Coco's pretty nice, and, you know, player optimally. Pretty good stage, too. Like Snow Way out a lot. And, uh, he yeah, has a lot to say about my thoughts on Coco in this game. But actually, the first time, you know, Coco was actually playable in the Crash game. That's fully playable, other than being, you know, in vehicle levels and, like, Crash 3 and Wrath of Cortex. But it's, like, it's the first time, like, she's fully playable. Rather than being locked behind, uh, vehicle levels and those type of levels, too, which is nice. And, you know, uh, yeah, pretty good stage. Like I said before, checkpoints. You gotta be careful. The way it half is also pretty, uh, tricky, too. But well, I mean, you have the uh, time stop mass, so it's not that uh, bad at all. Ooh, boy.
a death. Ready, that. Ooh boy. Oh boy. Made it there. Okay. Another checkpoint right there. And near the end too. And boy. Oh boy. Gotta be careful here because I mean, and no. We dive. And we're playing as Tana in her first stage. I absolutely love playing as her so much. One of the best characters to play in the game actually too. And her design just slaps. Like, I love it so much in the original design personally, and you know, like her Game Boy style is also pretty good too. I love it. And you know, one thing I love about this game so much is that like, you know, obviously the each playable character other than Crash and Tuckle have their own unique moveset. Like, you know, Tana is like more of, you know, a uh, platforming, but also like, you, you like, go for certain obstacles and, you know, that stuff. I think about like more of a way back character style. You know, and Cortex basically Mega Man, but with and playing Crash Bandicoot, which is very nice. And yeah, we're really hoping Sonic Frontiers when that DLC drops later this year. You know, we get like playable characters actually not the same as Sonic. They have their own unique move set and stuff like that too. I mean, it's pretty nice. Even like in Sonic 06, you know, in like Sonic Adventure, each character had their own unique move sets, and it was a nice change of pace too. I miss playable characters in Sonic games, and the fact we're gonna get it soon. Oh, wait, you just see actually two with wave three. It is exciting. And I can't wait for it, so. And, yeah, we're doing pretty good on the platforming here, too. I. This is one of the best stages for her. And, you know, the, my least favorite one is actually the one with Dingo Dial in the uh, food truck world. It's not a bad save, but like, the problem is that like, it's way too long, personally. Which I. That's why I don't play the way to have that much for me. Dad, I mean, it's Sam, we die here, and we're on to Dingo Dial, and like I said before, you know, pretty fun character to play as, and also, like, he's more chill than way back character style, actually, too. I mean, you know, it, the music's chill, you know, all you do is, like, vacuum boxes and, like, TNT crates and stuff like that, too, to, like, go through, uh, the next path of the stage and stuff like that, too, and, like, the music's calm as well. Love it so much, and, you know. It's a nice change of pace from the, you know, from the actual game could be, like, this game's, like, hard, like, really hard. Way more harder than the previous Crash games combined, and you'll be dying a lot. And, you know, I had Dingo Dial here, you know, he's calm, a way back, relaxed, gameplay style, music's chill, and stuff like that, too, like, it's a nice breath fresh air, too, from the main stuff. Which is nice, and Dingo Dial is actually the best he was in uh, a Crash game yet. Because like in previous Crash games, you know, he was there as a boss fight or, you know, just a random cameo appearance and some of that too. But like here, he, you know, he is part of the story, you know, he has personality. He helped out Crash and Coco, you know, and Tana, some of that too, throughout the whole um, game, you know. He has his own restaurant, you know, he loves food, I mean, everyone loves food, so still you know, but yeah like he has a personality and stuff like that too like i just love it so much and also like, he's redeemable too you know obviously i mean thing of dog just didn't have no personality but it's like very rare to see other characters like villains trying to be you know be redeemable and stuff like that too which is also pretty nice you don't see that in most games these days actually not even the main villain himself, I mean, like, like villains like Eggman and like Bowser, you know. There will be points where they help out, you know, Mario and Sonic respectively at any of their games, but you know. Usually, what's it called, they don't, they still are the bad guys to this very day. So, it's nice to see, and like, you know, Crash team up with Cortex in Twin Sanity, which was nice. But even though I didn't, haven't even played much Twin Sanity no. before, so, I can't really say much about that. You know, and like, thing about, like, Cortex helped out Crash in this game too, for like a little bit before, you know, he, uh, betrayed them. And thing about is like, you know, fully redeemable, like, he's a retired villain, you know, he has his own restaurant, and, you know, he's trying to protect it and stuff like that too, but uh, that's all multiverse work is happening here, so, you know, and boom, shoot, and, yeah, love her, s or love him so much, I'm in, uh, Mistake right there. <coughs> this 
This is like her this is like his only it is like his only what's it called? Like his only uh like main stage. I mean the rest of the character scenario stages, which is are fine. The problem about the character scenario stages is that you know like if you and yeah, we die here. And we're playing my least favorite character in the entire game, and that is Cortex. And he's not a bad character to play as. I mean, he's pretty, you know, fun to play at times. But, like, usually, what's it called? Like, his gameplay style is not really the best, like, or even, like, fleshed out well. Like, even the levels are not really the same, too, actually. The ride home about. Especially later levels, too, like, where it be very, like, his later levels are actually terrible. Like, they're very, very tedious. That's why I don't play Cortex that often, too, you know, because, like, Obviously, just like, you know, like, do or die stuff, and, like, it's not really a best, uh, thing, like, you know, usual, like, trial and error stuff, it's not really that good, especially, like, if you go for, like, a platinum relic, or, you know, or an insane perfect relic, like, playing Cortex levels are actually, you know, a pain to go through if you're going for completion, because of, you know, his stiff gameplay style, and, you know, like I said before, none of the bad characters to play as, but, like, he's the least replayable, you know, character in this game, in my opinion. I mean, if you like the game, you know, like gameplay, it's fine. And yeah, we died. Oh well. <laughs>